So we will start the next point in control statement. That is, if else, if else statement. Then first is the syntax. What is the syntax of if else? If I small, then condition, then body of if and after completion of curly bracket write else after that body of else in the else statement there is no condition because if condition of if statement is false cursor automatically goes to the else statement here either body of if is executed or body of else is executed not both at a time clear but one at a time if you run the program and that program contains if else control statement then either if is executed if if is executed else body does not execute it but if does not execute it means body of else is executed similarly in marathi जर तर जर ची कंडीशन फॉल्स आली तर काय होणार तर एक्झिक्यूट होणारच आलं लक्षात क्लियर सो दिस इज द सिंपल सिंटॅक्स ऑफ इफ एल्स स्टेटमेंट क्लियर बेस्ड ऑन इफ एल्स स्टेटमेंट वी कॅन सॉल्व टू प्रॉब्लेम स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट इज फाइंड मॅक्सिमम नंबर अमंग द टू नंबर्स दैट मींस फर्स्ट वी कॅन टेक टू नंबर्स फ्रॉम द यूजर्स so user enters any two integer numbers then find which one is the maximum clear using if else statement not only if statement only using if else statement so what is the output on the console so first is enter any two numbers then on the next line cursor is blinking then user enter suppose stay press enter that first number is suppose assigned to one variable a then cursor again blinking for taking second value from the user suppose user enter 20 and press enter then that second value is assigned to the variable b clear now find which one is the max so what is the message if first value is max then message is first number is or a is max and if second number is max then what is the output b is max here on the console a is not max than or it is less than second b value so what is the expected output b is max this is our output on the console so as per the user's requirement we can design our code so our code starts from including header files hash include stdio.h then include con io.h second header file program starts from void main so first statement first statement is message then enter any two numbers so write print them message enter any two numbers slash n that means cursor goes to the next line next scan n percentage d percentage b means we want to scan two numbers at a time using single scan statement okay so first value where we want to store first value suppose in the a variable so write address of a comma second value when user enter second value that value is stored into second variable that is suppose address of b now we can use two variables a and b here so we can declare that variables prior that is first line of your function main function so both are integer type integer a comma integer b clear so we can use the variables 
here in the scan statement so declare that variable at the first line of your function so function is main function so declare it okay after that write clr str that is clear screen that is common part after declaration or initialization of variable second statement is clear screen that means whatever may be the output on the console or text mode window that that is erased okay that means text mode window becomes clear using this statement clear screen okay next print f enter any two numbers scan f percentage d don't give semicolon here or comma here in double quotes only space it's okay but don't give comma here in the double quotes okay next after completing of the double quotes give comma then ampersand of a then comma then ampersand of b parenthesis complete give semicolon every statement ends with the semicolon next on the next line now we use if else statement clear so what is the syntax first line the syntax if condition here after that body of if after that else and then body of else this is simple structure of if else now we will decide what is the condition and what is the statements inside the body of if or else so what is the condition what is the condition find max number between two numbers here means we can check whether a is max or b variable is max so check by using comparison operator a greater than b if this condition is true then a is max so inside the body of if write the statement print f Clear. If this condition is false, that means cursor directly goes to the else statement. Okay, body of else, and inside the body of else, write print f b is max. Double quotes complete. Parenthesis complete. Give the semicolon. Last is get ch to freeze the console and curly bracket packet of main function completed. So what is the execution? How it executes? Now, for A and B, these are the two local variables. For these two variables, memory management is done by the compiler. 100 and 102. These are the base address of these two variables. And this memory management is done on RAM. And which partition? Stack partition. Okay, because A and B are the local variables, and local variables are saved on the stack partition. Initial values are garbage. Initial values are garbage. After that, clear screen means console get clear. There is no output on the console. Third statement, print f enter any two number. That message is displayed on the console. Slash n means cursor goes to the next line. On the next line, if user enters, for example, ten and press the enter, this value, that means percentage d first, is moved. To the address of A, where address of A means here, address of 100. Which value is moved? 10. So 10 value is saved into address of A. Next, percentage D. Cursor is blinking. So user enters suppose 20 and press enter. That value is moved to the address of B. That means here 20 value is saved. Next, next line, next statement. Now. Here is the control. On which statement print f a is max and print f b is max. These two statements are not executed. On this statement there is a one control. Okay, so control is due to condition. So this if else is called as control statement and also called as selection. In control statement which which type is there? If else is a selection or branching statement. So there is control on these two statement depending on this condition. Now, what is the value current value of A? It is fetched from the RAM. A, what value is 10? Second value B is fetched from this location 20. So 10 is greater than 0. Condition is false. 
false mean at the run time this condition is evaluated to zero zero means no entry to the body of if so cursor directly goes to the else part and in the else part which statement is there printed b is max so b is max is printed on the console understood what is the flow of this if else now take second value suppose user enters 30 as the first value and 20 as a second value that means a value is assigned to the 30 and b is 20 so at the run time when this if else statement is executed 30 is fetched from the ram also b's value that is 20 is fetched from the ram and compare using this comparison operator 30 is greater than 20 condition is true means at the run time true condition true means 1 ok run time environment put 1 here inside the if so 1 means entry to the if and which statement is executed a is max so message is first number that is a is max and if this statement is executed Runtime environment or cursor, runtime cursor does not execute else part. Directly, this cursor goes to the gate CH statement and console is freeze. Okay, that means only one part, either else part or if part, is executed. Clear? Not both at a time. It depends on the condition. So, this is called a control statement. In, in that, which type? selection or branching statement that means uh, depending on the condition cursor is branched to printf a is max or cursor is branched to next else part that is b is max understood so this is the first statement problem statement now second find whether the entered number is odd or even second problem statement is find whether the entered number is odd or even using if else using if else branching statement now what is the output on the console first design the output that means what is the user's requirement so what is the user's requirement enter any number don't take now two numbers at a time take one number at a time that means enter any number ok then user enters suppose 10 press enter this value a is stored into variable a Next, number is odd or even. Check whether that number is odd or even. Now, 10 is even. So, message is number is even. This is the expected output. And if user enters, suppose 11, 11 is odd. We know 11 number is odd number. So, output is number is odd. So, output depends on the number. If user enters even number, then number is even message is there. If number is odd, then depending on that message is number is odd. Clear? So, make the changes. We want only one number. Then clear screen. Enter any number. This is message. Next. Next line that is scan it. Take the number from user percentage D. Double quotes complete, comma, ampersign of A. Next, check whether this A is even or odd using if else statement. So write the syntax if condition, then body of if, then else, then body of else. And last is get semicolon. Okay, now choose the condition. How we can choose that number is even or odd? Which is the condition? Take the mod operator. That means if a mod of 2 is equal to equal to 0, means if number is suppose, for example, user enters 10. If user enters 10, then what happens if user enters 10 then 10 mod of 2 what mod operator gives you mod operator returns reminder mod operator returns 
remainder means 10 divided by 2 quotient is 5 but remainder is 0 so 0 is equal to equal to 0 means condition true okay if condition is true then print left number is even double quotes complete else otherwise print left number is odd take any natural number either it is even or odd clear so if it is divisible by 2 means completely divisible means remainder is 0 then number is even otherwise number is odd take another example if user enters 11 11 mod of 2 remainder is 1 so 1 is not equal to equal to 0 means condition false if condition is false cursor directly goes to printf statement in else part which is number is odd and then get ch is executed understood okay so today we will stop here